inside the E over M device, um, you can see that there, there are different parts. It's a little bit hard to see in the video, but there are two capacitor plates um, down here. And they're separated with these glass insulating rods. Uh, the rod that goes across the bulb has, measure, has a measuring stick on it that you'll need to measure the diameter of the beam. All right, the Helmholtz coil, um, Helmholtz figured out that if this distance right here between the two coils, if this distance is the same as the, the, uh, the radius of each coil, then you will have a region of constant field. Now remember that the field lines, the magnetic field lines, could either be coming in like this, or they could be coming out and going around. So this whole coil appears uh, like a bar magnet. Now, you need to measure the radius of this coil. To do that, the best way is to do it from the inside to the outside. That would be like measuring from the center to center, which is much more difficult. But as you can see, this coil is not exactly round. So we want you to take different measurements, uh, five or six measurements, okay, at different points, and then average all those and call that your radius. Uh, of course, you're, you have the diameter here, so we want you to divide that by two. When you turn this guy on, it's going to take 30 seconds or so for it to warm up. While it's warming up, you can do your measurements at that point. When you're doing the measurements, the lights need to be dimmed, and then putting the flashlight right here helps, helps you see the rod inside the bulb. Uh, the rod will flat, f excuse me, fluoresce when the electron beam hits it. If you do this, you'll tend to wash out the beam. It's a good idea to take the, the compass and carefully move it like this to see which direction the field is pointing. And then put it out here and see which direction the field is pointing and see if you can imagine the field lines and which way they go. And do it up here. Um, put it inside the coil, see which way the field lines are going. and then carefully, slowly move the compass across the coil. Very, very slowly. And I want you to look for any slight deflection in the compass needle as you pass through this region that Helmholtz said would be constant field. 